Hello everyone, this is Hobby Crochet. I want to share with you this lovely pattern how to make stress ball or anxiety ball. This is very lovely little soft amigurumi, little frogs. It is quite easy to make and I will show you it. You will need your tapestry needle, few safety pins, stitch marker, hook I'm using 6 millimeters, and safety eyes, of course. These saf safety eyes are 7 millimeters. Just black eyes, 7 millimeters. And of course, safety cups. This is oldie yarn, baby yarn. 100 meters, 95, 100 grams, 95 meters. And of course, you need some toy filling. I bought it from Hobbycraft, but any will work all right. And I will ask you a couple of questions at the end of this video, and I hope you will be able to answer to me. So I know lots of people struggle to make amigurumi ring, so I will show you this way how to make it without amigurumi ring. I've made slip knot and chain two. And I'm making six single crochets in the first chain stitch. And this first chain stitch will work as my amigurumi ring. Single crochet, insert your hook in the center of your chain stitch, pick the yarn, pull it out, yarn over and pull it through. In the center, pick the yarn, pull it out, yarn over and pull it through. This is round one. You should have six stitches if you count. And this is first stitch. I'm making round two. Two single crochet in this stitch. One single crochet. And second single crochet in the same stitch. You want to place your stitch marker in the first single crochet just to mark the beginning of your round. Two single crochet in every stitch. And at the end of this round two, you should have 12 stitches. You reached your stitch marker, take it out, round 3, one single crochet in the first stitch, place your stitch, back, uh, stitch marker back, this is how you place your stitch marker. Two single crochets in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next stitch. 
2 in the next stitch and so on. So the pattern will be 1, 2, 1, 2. You can pause the video if you are going slower than me and finish your round. At the end of this round you will have 18 stitches. I will go a little bit faster. And two single crochet in the last stitch. Then I will make one single crochet in one stitch for two rounds. So I will make round four 18 single crochets and round five it will be the same 18 single crochets. One single crochet in the same in one stitch. I will pause the video and then I will come back for round six. And for round six, you start making decreases. So first stitch you are making one single crochet. Place your stitch marker. Next two stitches you decrease. So you pick in front loop, one stitch and front loop of the next stitch and making single crochet. This is decrease. Next stitch one single crochet and now decrease. Pick front loop of one stitch, front loop of the next stitch and make single crochet. One single crochet in the next stitch and decrease again. And this is called invisible decrease in amigurumi or amigurumi make us are using this. So it's the same as a single crochet but you are picking two front loops and this will be the pattern for this round. One single crochet and decrease. Keep going till the end of the round and you should be left with 12 stitches. If you will end up with a couple more stitches or less stitches, it doesn't really matter because uh, you are making just little ball. Next round it will be decrease. So it will be first two stitches decrease, front loop and front loop. Mark this stitch and make decrease five more times. Pick in front loop of two stitches and make a single crochet. Let's make one more and insert the filling. The opening is getting smaller. We can insert the filling and finish a little bit later.
for the feeling you can use anything basically you can use some scrap yarns or you know lots of uh, little cuttings you've got left from other projects just stuff it in you don't need to stuff a lot you just want it to be soft and bouncy and finish this round with two more decreases and then I will show you how to finish am amigurumi because it's uh, also special way how to finish amigurumi this uh, hole that uh, that is always left some people do it very nicely and uh, other people don't really know how to do it so you've got six stitches left and uh, you insert your hook into the stitch and pull the yarn through next stitch and pull the yarn through and do this through every stitch insert your hook inside the stitch and pull the yarn through once you pick all those six stitches then you can just pull the end and tighten this hole and now you've got very nice and neat clothing for your amigurumi ball hide this end you can of course cut the end or you can use this remaining yarn as your stuffing so you just feed it through again and maybe a couple more times or you just find your larger scissors as I did and just poke it through all this remaining yarn and now you've got your little ball ready this can be the base for lots of other animals not just frog to make eyes you start again with chain 2 slip knot and chain 2 if you know how to do amigurumi circle start with amigurumi circle and 6 single crochet I'm make, making six single crochet in the first chain stitch just to show you that this way is also possible if you are not familiar with the Migurumi circle place your stitch marker in the first single crochet it will be easier to identify it and make five more single crochets I've made six and now I can see where is my first stitch it is a little bit of trick in this first stitch I'm making one single crochet place your stitch marker or you just count five more times in this round you will put one single crochet in each stitch so in this round you will have six single crochets 
basically one single crochet in each stitch. And this will be round two. Don't forget to turn it inside out. This is the right side. I don't know why, it just looks prettier. And make a slip stitch just to finish this. You can make a one chain stitch to secure this. Cut the yarn but leave some tail. You will use it to stitch the eye to the body. The eye is ready. Use this little end as stuffing. You don't need any more stuffing. Now you can insert the eye somewhere between first and second row and secure it with the safety cup. Just play it around, maybe to find the position and secure it with safety pins. You can make second eye straight away the same way and pin both of them at once, just to make sure they are straight and your froggy looks lovely. Place them higher, lower, wider or more narrow, the way you like. And then using downy needle, just stitch it to the body. How to connect those parts in amigurumi? Pick the stitch from the body and pick the stitch from this little part. Stitch from the body and little stitch from the eye. And just go around it. And that's it. Secure your yarn and hide the end. Again, you can push the sand in, or if you don't have time, just cut it and use this as a stuffing for your next froggy. Or other amigurumi. I've got quite a few amigurumi toys on my channel now. If you click on the icon of my channel, you will see amigurumi playlist, or just press on videos. I've made quite a few very nice amigurumi toys, like snake, or strawberry cow, reversible octopus, they are very popular, lovely toys. And now let's make little belly, a white belly. You start the same way, slip knot and two chain stitches. Or you can start with a migurumi ring and make six single crochet in a migurumi ring or six single crochet in the first stitch of this chain. Mark first single crochet Six single crochets and now for round two I'm making two single crochets in the same stitch. 
So two single crochet in first stitch, two single crochet in the second stitch, two single crochet in the third stitch. You can just count 12 in twos. So six times two single crochets. Or if you are not sure, just insert your stitch marker. And this is little belly. You don't need it larger. This is just great. Let's make slip stitch and chain one to secure. Cut the yarn leaving the tail. First you place this belly securing with the safety pins. And then we will attach it the same way as we did it touching eyes. Don't forget to take those pins out afterwards. It's easy to forget about them in this plush yarn. I almost forgot it once. With a dunny needle you want to do the same. Pick the stitch from the body. And then pick the stitch from this little part. From this belly. And you do it all around. My first question is um, do you want me to make the pattern for larger froggy? I saw people have got uh, this small froggy as stress ball and they've got larger one. The ball will be larger and it will be um, arms, legs slightly different and larger pattern. This is my first question for you. And the second question I wanted to check with you is this good enough for beginner pattern? Do you think it's a beginner pattern or it is more advanced? I was trying to make this very slowly and uh, I think it's easy pattern, but what do you think? I would love to hear all your comments in the description below or in a comment section. Yeah. And in the description below, I will leave the links to my other amigurumi, other favorite amigurumi patterns. Okay, and this is it. You secure the yarn and all you will have to do is just to embroider the mouse. And I will show you how to embroider this mouse. It is just one little stitch. But this is what it makes this froggy cute. Or ugly. You can make happy froggy or you can make Sad froggy. Oh, not sure where is it from, but you just stuff it in.
and you know the more frogs you are making the better it will be or maybe I like them more the more I make the I like them more to make the mouse I'm inserting the needle from the back of my frog somewhere be you can see here between first and second round but leave the tail and you are making kind of triangle so insert your second point is in line with your first point and now you poke down between those points and just like this just correct it slightly you just want to wiggle this around don't worry if you don't like how you made it first time just undo it and do it second time the more you make them the better you will be and just take the yarn at the back of the frog and secure it with little knot don't pull it very hard just knot it slightly it will be secure enough and hide the tails you may poke this yarn back into the froggy or you can just cut and use those off cuts for your next frog and this is your little friend is ready very nice and squashy little cutie frog and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today give me thumbs up like it, comment answer my questions